Oh yeah, baby, welcome to the Sweat Olympics. This map is a team Fortnite relay race where you go head to head against your opponent in a series of Fortnite skills. The team to complete the course the fastest is crowned with sweat. Your team will have to crank 90s, make your way through an edit aim course, test your movement in the death run, and in the final stage, you will have to hit a nasty trick shot for the win. This map is so much fun, and whether you are by yourself or playing with two teams of four, everyone is guaranteed to have a blast. I even built this map with spectating in mind. If you are waiting your turn or you are finished, you have flying enabled. You are free to roam the map, taunting the other team, or even lending a hand to your teammates to help them navigate through the course. I have some other really cool features to show you, so make sure you grab your headband and towel because things are about to get sweaty. Let's go. Immature gaming. First things first, please hit that like button. It really goes a long way and it also lets me know how I'm doing on my videos. I also wanna note that even though it's called the Sweat Olympics, this map is for all skill levels and a lot of fun no matter if you're by yourself or with friends, so do not get discouraged. Also, make sure you watch until the end of the video. I'm gonna fill you in on how you can get your name displayed in the main lobby for the whole world to see. So once you spawn into the map, you will have some choices to make. This map is equipped with a smart team calculator mechanic. It will read how many players spawned in, and it will enable one station per player. If you look up, you will see on the left side is Team 1, and on the right side is Team 2. You can choose between one of four stations to compete in. A 90s course, an edit aim course, movement course, or a death run as we call it, and a trick shot course. You will notice some glowing rings under the teams that will enable, and you just have to run inside of it to select your team and station. You have 30 seconds to pick your station before it will automatically pick you. Now if you don't have a full team, don't worry. Just select one of the available stations, and when it comes time for that task, it will automatically select a person from your team to complete it. Once teams are selected, the game starts. Remember, the first team to pass the torch through all four stages wins. Side note, don't worry about passing the torch. It will automatically do that for you. Come on guys, who do you think I am? The first course is 90s. If you pick any other station, you will be spectating and have flight enabled. Don't worry though, once your team completes his course, it will automatically grab you and you can start sweating. So in the 90s course, it's pretty simple. The goal is to get to the top the fastest. If you look up, you will notice a blue zone. This is your finish line. Just crank as hard as you can to the finish line to pass the torch. Once you complete it, it will pass the torch and grab your teammate that selected the edit aim course and you will spawn at the spectating area where you will have flight enabled and you can go watch the rest of the race. The second stage in the relay race is the edit aim course. You will have to complete two stages to pass the torch. First stage is to edit through a bunch of pre-builds and kill six bots to unlock the door and move on to the second stage where you will have to shoot and kill 10 bots to finish your station. The first stage, although not necessary, requires some teamwork. Six bots will spawn into the map randomly, and above them, text will appear, letting your team that's spectating know where the bots spawn. Your yeah, team yeah, can straight. help you yeah, navigate straight. through the course and tell you the quickest route and to then you're kill gonna the bots. Go back to the middle, go After middle. you kill all six bots and drop the barrier, make your way through the exit, and you will have to kill 10 bots in the aiming section. This will complete your station and you will pass the torch to your teammate. The third stage in the relay race is the movement death run course. The whole goal is to run your torch through a series of obstacles to the finish line. Don't worry, there are checkpoints through the way to make sure all skill levels can have fun. I've also added a troll item that you can either use to help yourself or maybe slow down the other team. I don't know, that's up to you. Run, jump, do whatever you have to do to get to the finish line and pass the torch to your teammates. The final stage is the trick shot course. The whole goal is to snipe the bot standing under your trick shot bay. You will be equipped with a hunting rifle and a grappler. You just have to jump onto the launch pad and use your grappler to get to the bounce pads. It also has the blue zone area that will send a signal and drop the protective barrier around your bot and allow you to snipe at him. This stage is cheat proof, so don't even try it. The first team to complete all four stages and snipes the bot will be crowned the sweatiest of sweats. Let's go boys, let's go. 
Again, I want to remind you that no matter what your skill level is, this map is a lot of fun. Also, a great map to warm up and practice on. Also, don't worry about playing with a bunch of people. This map was made to work no matter how many players you have. You can even run this course solo. I also want to note that this map has some of the most advanced mechanics when it comes to team select, auto advancement, and if a player leaves at any time, it will not interrupt the game. It'll grab the next available player on your team and you can keep sweating. Here's the map code. Let me know in the comments what your best time is. If you think your time is the fastest in the world, please send me video proof of the whole run with the time shown on the scoreboard at the end of the game. The top three times will get their names in the starting lobby. Send your videos to my Instagram at immature underscore gamer or on my Twitter at immature gamer X. Also, if you just want to say hi or stay up to date on all my maps and know when I go live, make sure you drop a follow on my socials. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't leave without leaving a like on the video. And if you like this type of content, content, subscribe. If you want to go further and support me, then you can use code immature in the item shop at checkout. I really appreciate it. If you don't use my code, please use someone else's. Do not leave it blank. Make someone's day. I hope you all have a great week. And that is it for this video. I'm Immature Gamer and I'm out. If you made it to the end of the video, please put a poop emoji in the comment section. You guys are awesome. Later. Hey, you're still here? Thank you so much for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. If you don't mind, please press that like button. It goes a long way. I'm serious. And while I'm sitting here begging for likes, press that subscribe button. It would really mean the world to me. All right, I'm really leaving this time. Hope you have a great day. That's my name.